Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking five of the main paste wax that you can buy in Halfords, testing them to hell and back, and giving you the results. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, you know how this rolls. What are the five products that we're looking at in this video? Auto Glim High Definition Wax, Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, Auto Finesse Essence, Ferrecla G3 Super Gloss, and Turtle Wax Super Hard Shell Finish. Let's get started with a comparison. Test one, value for money. In last place is Auto Glim High Definition Wax, costing £44 for 120 grams. In fourth place is Auto Finesse Essence, costing £36 for 150 grams. Third place for Ecla G3 Super Gloss, costing £27 for 200 grams. Second place, Meguiar's Ultimate Pace Wax, costing £30 for 311 grams. And the winner in value is Turtle Wax Super Hard Shell Wax, costing £7.50 for 400 grams. Bargain. Test two, product presentation. In last place is Turtle Wax, with a decent, bespoke, but slightly flimsy plastic tub. Always nice to get a free applicator, but this one is a little bit on the cheap side. The product itself looked and felt porridgey and had a mass-produced dispense feel. Even considering the price point, I was slightly disappointed. In next place is Auto Finesse Essence. This comes in a simple box with a really nice stamp branded tin. However, the pour on the wax itself, there was excess carrier and oil in this particular product oozing out of the wax and some signs of cracking and shrinkage. Heat no doubt plays a part in this, but it was only 22 degrees on this particular day and the other products were not affected. In third place is Ferrecla G3 Super Gloss Paste Wax. Comes in a little plastic kind of flimsy box, but with a very high quality, nicely cut waffle style foam applicator. The plastic tub is decent enough and quite well presented with a nice shiny label. The pour of the wax is nice and level, but as you can see, there's a tiny little bit of shrinkage and some froth bubbles that have set around the edges. In second place is the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, which comes in a really nice presented package box. They also provide a reasonable quality microfiber terry cloth. Unfortunately, because it's not in a bag, there's small shreds of cardboard embedded all over the towel. I really like the branding and the presentation and the bespoke tin that the product comes in. Looks great. You also get a free foam applicator inside the product, which is above average quality. The pour of the wax is decent. There's some rough bits around the edges. Some cracking because it's quite a hard, dry wax. Um, but overall, that's okay. In first place in a beautifully presented box, almost like a high-end cosmetic, is the Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Wax. Even the plastic that contains the applicator and the terry cloth has a frosted kind of glass look. The plastic pot is sturdy, the lid comes off beautiful. The applicator that comes with it is the highest quality dual foam that fits perfectly into the pot and makes loading up the wax an absolute pleasure. The quality of the pour of this wax is absolutely outstanding. It is like an ice rink with no faults at all. That is exactly how I want a wax to look when I take the lid off. You can only do that if you care about the details. Outstanding effort on presentation. Test three, application. Fifth place, turtle wax. Very important, you must apply this with a wet applicator as directed in the instructions. As you can see here, a dry applicator ends up picking up the product rather than spreading it. So a little spritz of water and wring out your applicator. Even with a gentle dab in the pot, it's hard not to pick up excess product. 
As you can see with a wet applicator, the product loosens up a little bit and it's pretty easy to spread and reasonably nice to work with. The only thing I've noticed when you actually put it on a full bonnet is as that applicator dries out, there is a slight risk that you can start picking up that product again and need to just dampen off the applicator further times. Next up in joint third place was Autoglim UHD. Again, it's recommended to apply this with a damp, wet applicator sponge to help make it a bit more spreadable. I've applied it many times with a wet applicator. In this video, I'm just trying it dry so I can form a comparison using the same applicators with all the products. This product spreads pretty well. I'd give it a seven out of 10. The reason it's not a nine or a 10 out of 10 is because it doesn't have that loose, buttery, silky spreading feel. More of a waxy feel, if you know what I mean. Next up in joint third place is Auto Finesse Essence. Again, just like the Auto Glim product, it's got a little bit of a waxy feel to this rather than a smooth, really oily, buttery, silky feel. Uh, just benefits from light, gentle, circular motions to give you that spreadability. But it is a very nice wax to use, just like Auto Glim. So again, seven out of 10, good wax to apply. In second place, Meguiar's Ultimate Pace Wax. As you can see, really nice pickup on the applicator and just slightly more spreadable than the Auto Glim and Auto Finesse products. I gave this one an eight out of 10 for how it is to work over the panel. Nice. And in first place with application is Ferrecla G3 Super Gloss. Although it looks like a hard, grainy Carnuba wax, once you get this onto the applicator, in my opinion, it spreads over the panel the smoothness out of all these products. And it's a real joy to apply this one. Spreadability of a paste wax is always an important thing because this product has to be worked over every section of your car's paintwork. G3 Super Gloss is an absolute peach to spread over a panel. It has all those cliches of a nice, silky, oily, buttery smooth wax to apply. Great job. Test for removal. In fifth place, it's Turtle Wax. Although the product cures reasonably quickly in a few minutes to a light white haze which passes the finger swipe test, the product can be extremely difficult to wipe off the panel with just a light pass of a microfiber cloth. Many times after buffing over a section I could still see residue of the dried product left on the panel and it took some pressure and a lot of buffing to remove this product. Although there's an argument to be said it's down to the user to make sure you apply this product very thin in my opinion, in this day and age, part of the skill of blending and making these formulations is to make sure they are easy to remove, regardless of how the user spreads them over the panel. Next up in joint third place is Meguiar's Ultimate Pace Wax. It's got a kind of medium cure rate, about five to 10 minutes should be good. You get some slight hazing and a close to a dry cure where the finger swipe test kind of works. Really nice to buff this one. Product comes off the panel nice. You see that gloss underneath with no streaking or any product that's left over on the panels. Very satisfied with this. Also in joint third was Freckler G3 Super Gloss Wax. This is an oily wax which never goes to a full dry cure. You get a slight hazing. However, it still picks up on the microfiber cloth really nice and buffs to a shine. I was equally as impressed with this one as I was the Meguiar's. In second place is Auto Finesse Essence. I found this product gives you a more discreet hazing and it actually fails the finger swipe test because all of the residue that dries is actually hardening. Again though, the reality of this product is when it comes to buffing it, it is really nice to remove from the panel. The microfiber seems to collect it up quickly without much effort or pressure needed and you just buff the wax back to a nice gloss with absolutely no problems. In first place is Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Wax. 
This wax cures very rapidly within about four minutes typically and you can tell when it's dried. The finger swipe test will always pass. It gives you a nice clear hazing that you can identify and even if you put too much on, of this wax on the panel it always remains soft and is very easy and nice to buff. A peach of a wax, probably one of the best ones that I've used in terms of how nice it is to buff off the panel. The only thing that can go wrong is if you hurl this wax on you, you can get a little bit of crumbs, but if you put a thin layer, you'll pick up all of the excess product on the microfiber. Really, really nice, job well done. Test five, gloss. Using our Roadpoint IQ Gonio Photometer, we took five pre-application readings on each section of the test hood. The products were then applied and left overnight to fully cure. We then undertook a separate round of chemical resistance testing and after that we took further five readings and compared all the average data and delta increments on 20 degree gloss and R spec. Here are the results. In fifth place Turtle Wax, in fourth place Auto Finesse Essence, in third place Freckla G3, in second place Auto Glim UHD and in first place Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax. The results on this one are pretty close guys, all within two gloss units. Which one would I take? Um, probably the only one I wouldn't take is the Turtle Wax which looks a bit um, flatter. All of the other products give the car a nice warm gloss. Test 6, Hydrophobicity. So once again we're measuring levels of hydrophobicity here, how reactive and strong the water behaviour is, um, how pert and how noticeable, how juicy the beads are. Generally higher contact angles equal lower roll down angles but there's all sorts of complexities around whether or not um, high contact angles and hydrophobic beading properties are worth having. So this horizontal view I'm showing you now gives you a little bit more idea of the reaction, the strength of the water repellency. The Meguiar's product, I just gave it a 5 out of 10 for hydrophobicity. It's just very average. You've got a bit of sheeting strength going on there. It still beads, but it's low contact angle. The Turtle Wax product is below average hydrophobicity. I gave it a 4 out of 10. That's reasonably generous. The Auto Glim product is very hydrophobic, easily the most hydrophobic in this test. I gave it an 8.5. The G3 Ferrecla product is um, just above average. I gave it a 5.5 and the Auto Finesse I gave a 6. It's slightly improved over the um, Ferrecla. And now we're just looking at some of the beads on the product. As you can see, the Meguiar's product, nothing to write home about. You've got some beading going on, but they're all low contact angles. Probably not designed to uh, give you tight beads or something like that. Turtle Wax, kind of even worse, uh, less hydrophobic, um, very flat kind of beading performance. The Auto Glim High Definition Wax, juicy, fat, high contact beads, very hydrophobic and if you like a wax to bead on application you are going to like this product. I rated it 8.5 out of 10 on that scale. And here you can see the Freckla Super Gloss which I gave a 5.5 out of 10. Slightly better beads than the Meguiar's but nothing to write home about. And finally the Auto Finesse Essence which I rated a 6 out of 10 for hydrophobicity above average. Test 7 Durability. Once again in this test guys we're hitting the panel with subsequent rounds of alkaline rinsable uh, detergent degreaser that's water based and then we're just going to observe performance and I'll skip to the highlights of how many rounds it is for each product to die so you just um, so you don't keel over from boredom. <laughs> Okay, so here we can see the 10th round of detergent testing, guys. The Auto Finesse product, as you can see here, is still going. Decent uh, repellent action that you can still observe. And the Freckler G3, it's starting to fail, but there's still the product is still there. I'm not gonna chalk it off just yet, guys. It's still repelling the water. The Auto Glim product is working very well and is still reasonably repellent. And if we move over to Turtle Wax, it looks like it's gone. There is still something going on there. It's not hydrophobic, that's the problem. So it's harder to tell, but it's, 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 I'm gonna declare it dead virtually, but you know, um, but the Meguiar's product, I am officially declaring dead. It was slowing down a while ago, I think, but it started slowing down on the fifth hit, and now it's as good as gone. Okay, fast forward to 13 hits. I'm declaring Turtle Wax dead. Auto Glim still good. Ferrecla starting to fade. Auto Finesse still good. 
Okay, so now we're at round 25 hits, guys. As we said before, Maguire's is dead and the Turtle Wax is dead. The Auto Glim UHD is still going, but it's starting to fail now, guys. Not bad for 25 hits of Alkaline Cleaner. I think Auto Glim advised it can do 25 sort of rounds of normal car detergent. So it's still going after 25 hits of this, but you can see it's failing. The Ferrecola is really on its kind of last legs. In fact, I'm going to declare it dead, although you can see a little bit going on on the bottom. There's not enough now, so that's gone. And the surprise dark horse that I think is the most durable product here is the Auto Finesse Essence. I mean, it's obviously been affected by all these rounds of degreaser, but it wasn't as hydrophobic to start with as the Auto Glim, but it's maintaining that hydrophobicity and it's still going a little bit more than the Auto Glim product in my opinion. So it is the winner of this durability test. Okay guys, so it's now back into the garage to announce the overall winner and give you my final closing thoughts on these products. Okay guys, a quick roundup summary of all these products. The Turtle Wax is the one that's giving you fantastic value for money at £7.50. I just think there's some risks around the application of this, especially the buffing, and that's a very important thing for me. Yes, all risks can be mitigated through understanding, but these are retail waxes in Halfords. And I think, like I mentioned in this video, now, nowadays should be able to formulate something which I think is easy and idiot-proof to remove. And I'm an idiot, so it needs to be idiot-proof. Um, Turtle Wax have been developing lots of other products recently, stuff that's come out in America and is going to be making its way over to the UK. And those products are going to offer you value, and I'll check them out and see if I like them as well. So, unfortunately, in this test, it didn't do so well, but respect to the price point of this product and what, what they're trying to do. Next up, guys, the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax. Pure synthetic wax, which I'm generally not so keen on. I'd rather use an organic kind of Nuba-based, car Nuba-based kind of paste wax. However, this product looks every bit as good as a car Nuba wax, in my opinion, when it's laid down and, and it won the kind of gloss test. It looks great. I've reviewed this before on the channel and I've used it before on the channel. It's a good looking wax. What don't I like about it? The only thing I'm disappointed in, guys, is it says most, most advanced hydrophobic wax. And that's, there's a license there to mean anything, isn't it? But it, the hydrophobic performance is nothing really to write home about, at least as far as I can see. And the durability of the product was perhaps the worst in the test. Um, and I'm trying to sort of, you know, when I do these tests, I show you the footage of what I've based it on, and uh, that's the way we roll. So, decent wax, uh, Ultimate Pace Wax, very good looking. Next up, guys, coming in joint second, both picking up 51.5 was the G3 Super Gloss Pace Wax and the Auto Finesse product. How would you compare these? They're sort of mid-range waxes. The way to separate these is with the Ferrecla one, you get a little bit more, more wax for your money. For 27 quid, you get 200 grams. Um, for this one, you know, you get 150 for 35 quid or 36 quid, something like that. So if you want a bit more value, you go with this one. If you want a bit more durability, you go with the Auto Finesse one. Both nice to use. I don't think you would pick them over one being nicer to use than the other. The G3 one spreads the best out of all of these products, but it is the slowest to cure. So you might want to just leave it on the panel a little bit longer. And it never fully dry cures. It's quite an oily wax. But this is a good all-rounder that's nice to use. This is a good all-rounder that's nice to use. A little bit more expensive, but hardens off more and had the best durability in this test. So... Pretty uh, pleased with this. It's supposed to be Auto Finesse's all-rounder, their entry-level starting wax. I think just quite simply, this is a good paste wax product with medium durability. And finally, the winner, guys, the Auto Glim Ultra High Definition Wax. The only area where I marked them on where it didn't do well is value. That takes care of itself, doesn't it? If you don't have a £44 budget for a wax, then you're going to go with one of these cheaper options, which is one of the point of the reviews to capture all of this. In most of the other criteria, in fact, all of the other criteria that I marked it on, this did well. And it's the only one of these products that really beads heavily on application. So if you like that, you're going to like this wax. The other main claim to fame with it that is very nice to use, fast curing, very soft to buff. One of the nicest waxes to work with this. It looks like a high quality product as well. The pour is brilliant and the presentation is brilliant. So I actually feel like that extra price tag, although you might not want to pay it, I can see why it's charging more than these other products and I try to film that and demo it to you as well. Um, so yeah, this is a cracking little wax. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We will go again with Pace Waxes, comparing, I think I'm gonna do a 
sort of five waxes that the detailing scene has to offer, perhaps cheap ones um, to see if we can get good performance for not a lot of money or maybe mix the field up, I don't know. If you've used any of these products, let me know what you think. Um, what is your favorite paste wax that you use and why? That's always useful to me. Um, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing Channel. Bye for now. That we got plenty of time.